The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. When I prayed for God to give us direction in our relationship, I promised God that if it was His will for us to be married, that I would stop at nothing to love you, protect you, and provide for you. And now that God has upheld His end of the deal, I'm here to fulfill my promises as well. But now I can see that I have a few more promises to make. I know that I need to be a spiritual leader in our home, and I promise to be that for you and to be better at that than I am. I also know that a godly relationship requires us both to be good stewards, to sacrifice our own wills and desires and submit to God's desires instead, to put your interests before mine and to allow God to remain at the center of our relationship at all times and all costs. I promise to love you for all the years we are given on this earth. I will celebrate with you. I will mourn with you. I will be by your side in every victory and every failure. I will be an encouragement to you as you have been for me. I promise to do these things with love and patience. I love you, Aaron, and I can't wait to embark on this new journey with you. beginning to fall in love with Ben over several dates that were not yet called dates to Chick-fil-A, noticing how I enjoyed just being around him. And when he told me how he felt, but expected nothing in return, not even that I had to respond to his revealing the extent of his affection for me, I noticed his respect for me and that Ben would never pressure my hand or my heart. I had once prayed to the Lord to only open my heart again if it was his will. And I began to not only notice Ben, but I know that I loved him too. It was once said to me that you can know it's the right guy if you can put their name into the Corinthians 13 love passage. And when I noticed I could put Ben's name in place of the word love, I knew that he was the one. Because Ben is patient and Ben is kind. Ben does not envy nor boast, nor is he proud. Ben honors others and esteems them higher than himself putting his desire second. Ben is not easily angered and he does not keep record of wrongs. Ben does not delight in evil, but he rejoices in truth. And he always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. This kind of love never fails.